So um, someone that has used the Jasper.ai boss plan and in this review video, I'm going to tell you the whole truth. I'm going to talk about Jasper's good sides, its bad sides. I'm going to talk about the pricing. I'm going to do a live demo, show you guys what it looks like on the inside, show you what kind of content it can produce so that from all the things that I'm going to show and tell you in this Jasper.ai review video, you will be able to make an informed decision on whether or not Jasper.ai is the right thing for your needs. Now I will get onto my laptop screen and show you guys all the things that I'm talking about, talk about the good sides of Jasper, the bad sides, the pricing and all those things. But before I do that, you should know that Jasper actually has a free trial and for some reason they do not make it pronounced. They want you to pay money before you use the software and they actually have a discount offer that can actually save you some money by getting you free bonus credits when you create an account with Jasper. So what I'm saying is that when you are done watching this video and you've learned the pros, the cons, you've seen the things that I'm going to show you here about Jasper and you still decide that it's the right thing for whatever you want to do with it on the internet, then I would recommend you use the coupon link to get those bonus credits and actually save yourself some money when you're signing up for a free trial. So how it works is you click on the coupon link, you sign up for the free trial. When you finally pay, you're going to get some extra bonuses, which means you're going to be saving yourself some money as opposed to paying the full price that you were supposed to pay for Jasper. So I'm going to leave one of those coupon links down below in the description so that when you're done watching this video and you decide that Jasper is the right thing for you, you can click on the link down below in the description and get the discount that I'm talking about. So it's going to be the first link down below in the description. And now that I've said that, and I get this Jasper.ai review started by getting onto my laptop screen and showing you guys what jasper.ai looks like on the inside after we shall then walk you through the pros the cons the pricing and a lot of other things that's going to help you make an informed decision on whether or not jasper is the right thing for you so so when you come into here you can see it has a lot of templates for us to choose from and we're in the all category but we're just going to move around and i'm going to show you guys around so the frameworks part is a really interesting one. So the AIDA one is for attention, interest, desire, and action. The AIDA thing is something that I use very well when it comes to marketing. And it's something that I recommend you try out for yourself once you get this software. And why I'm saying you should try this out is because I know that it's going to turn out great for you. And don't worry though, I'm going to do a demo for you guys. So when it comes to emails, you can write personalized code emails and email headlines here. So when we move on to the website part, you're going to see that they have this company bio thing, which is obvious. It's obvious what it does. Then they have um, this bullet point stuff. They have the perfect headlines for people who wanna write very, very eye catchy headlines, the, web, the website sub headlines. So when it comes to the blog part of the whole thing, uh, they have this blog post outline and this is gonna help you because when you're using it, you don't have to worry about writer's blog. So I myself as someone that has been writing articles for a long time, I know that when you stare at the screen and you don't know what to write, it's a really, really big problem. So this can actually help you create the points and you do the rest so moving forward uh, the blog post intro it's obvious what it does the outro is obvious what it does so now for the ads part this is one of the parts of this software that i know i use a lot because i myself i'm someone that runs a lot of ads facebook ads google ads and the good thing is that the ads you can generate from here you can actually use them on the other ad platforms out there so if you're someone that runs a lot of ads on the internet this is gonna work for you. And now for the e-commerce part, this is the one that you can use to write product descriptions and all. I'm not really big on this one because I don't really sell a lot of things on Amazon and all, but this can actually work for you. And for the social media part, I use this one a lot myself. I've used a personal bio thing, the creative story thing. And about the creative story one, it's not gonna be very accurate sometimes because actually nobody can actually write your story for you, uh, but you can actually let it do the job then add a little bit of information and now this other part here is the uh, photo captions be it instagram facebook twitter wherever it's going to generate good captions for you i've used this one actually now the next one here is this quora thing this is something that i've used a lot myself because i actually make a lot of money from quora answer questions and all so i use it to answer questions and it's very very effective i can tell you and yes now for the google part i haven't really used that one so we're going to move on to the video part and for this video part you can see they have the topic ideas the video script outline the video title script hook as if you want to write a script and the video description so quickly moving on to SEO this one I use it a lot for my blog for uh, metadata and all so with all I say I'm gonna quickly show you guys how the paragraph generator actually works so from what you can see here you can see that I created an example here and I'm gonna show you guys what Jasper is capable of doing so I must mention here that uh, this these templates like the paragraph generator they are very very easy to use there's really nothing to learn so how it basically works is you just put in the title you put in how long you want it to be and you click on where it says generate AI content and this is what I put why golf is the most fun sport now, personally, I like this part of Jasper because most times when trying to write paragraphs, you might get stuck with what do I write, where do I start from and all, but this thing actually spits out content for you. So looking at what Jasper created for me here, you can see it says golf is the most fun sport because it is the perfect combination of challenging and relaxing. 
On one hand, golf requires skill and precision, challenging players to hit the ball as close to the flag as possible. But on the other hand, golf is also a very relaxing sport, played at a leisure place with beautiful scenery all around. Golf is a great sport, providing an opportunity for friends and family to spend time together outdoors and of course, Golf is a great way to get some exercise and all. So you can see this is actually good content here. It has good punctuation, has good everything. They didn't just like, it doesn't actually look like it was a robot that wrote that. It actually looks real right there. So like this is the kind of content you can actually get from this thing right here. And I'm showing you this right here so that you know what you're going to expect when you actually spend money on this. So moving on to the um, AIDA framework. I really like this one because it actually helps you with copywriting. And if you're someone that does a lot of copywriting, then this would actually work perfectly for you. So let's say, for example, that you have a product. All you have to do is put in the product name, put in the description and let Jasper do the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys one of the examples on the right, right? So right now with this one, you can see that it starts with attention by saying feeling overwhelmed by all the copywriting you need to do. Interest, it says Jasper will take care of it with AI technology or software can help you write content that is good and engaging on brand for your business. You never have to worry about copywriting again. Uh, it talks about the desire. It says imagine having a perfectly written content for your website without lifting a finger. Then it says that's what Jasper can do for you. And then in the part of action, it says sign up today for a free trial of Jasper. So this is how effective this thing can actually make your copywriting and it does it like without you having to do the thinking and the writing itself. So like that's what you do with the AID framework part of the software. And now that I've talked about that, we're going to move on to the part of the video script. So on this part, just like the other part, what this one does is obviously help you write a script. And you can see the example I generated for this review video. And you can see it says an individual hook of the script. It says in this video, I'm going to review Jasper.ai, whether or not it's worth using. It says, hey there, my name is Daniel. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Jasper.ai. Now, if you're like me and always on point, so you can see it's actually a full script and that's what you can actually do with this. And now I'm going to move on to the part of this software where we're going to actually generate uh, video descriptions for YouTube. So how this one works basically is you put in the video title and it generates a very, very short YouTube description for you. So you can see what it gave me here. Uh, it says in this video, I'll take a look at the software and whether or not it's what using, I'll share my thoughts on it and all. So basically it actually does a good job with this one. You can see what it gave me there. So yes, I'm uh, coming back to the homepage here and the templates, but they have about 50 plus templates last I checked but what I want to cover right now is this long form assistant one people actually like it so much now you have to know that this long form assistant part is only available in the boss mode which is the one I actually use and this was gonna let you write things like long blog posts and short stories and all those like the real content this is what actually helps you do so when you click on there it's gonna bring you into here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell Jasper what to do basically how this one works is you can actually tell it to write a blog outline for Jasper. So now if I hold control and hit enter, don't worry, they're going to show you how to use all those keys. It's going to actually spit out something for me. So you can see what it's doing. It says something like, what is Jasper? What does it do? How to use Jasper, the pros and cons of Jasper and all. So basically this can be my outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it um, more information. So I'm going to write something like, what is Jasper? And uh, how can it help your online, uh, your online business? So... Now that I've written that, I'm going to write a little bit more. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to, to replace this one because I feel like it's better. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control, hold enter, and I'm going to let Jasper do the rest of the work. So we're going to watch Jasper do the job. We're going to wait for it to do the job. And you can see it's spitting out content. And, and, and as you can see, it says Jasper is an official intelligence software that helps you create and manage content for your online business. It can help you write, edit, and publish. So I think I want more. I want Jasper to write more. So I'm just going to hold compose or press control, enter. And I'm going to wait for it to do more. And you can see that it's actually spitting out more content for me here. So right now, uh, if I want Jasper to actually do something better, if I don't like or if I didn't like what it did, I'm, going to, I'm just going to delete what it actually has done here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit where it says Compose or Control plus J or Control Enter, depending on what type of computer you're using. And what's going to happen is that Jasper is going to create something new for us. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Compose down here and you're going to watch Jasper create something new for us. So you can see that right there. And now you guys have seen what this thing is capable of uh, with the long form content part of the software. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and talk about the pros and the cons. So now I believe I've actually shown you guys what it looks like on the inside, what it can do and all. 
So now we're going to move on to talking about the pros and the cons. So I'll start with the pros. And once I'm done talking about the pros, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the cons. So for the pros, the first thing that I must mention as a pro, which is something that I liked about using Jasper.ai to create content for my business, is the fact that it can quickly churn out content for you. So that's the first benefit. So like it's very easy. It makes everything faster. Content that would have taken you hours to write. You can literally create it in like a few minutes. So that's the first pro. And now that I've talked about that, the second thing that I must mention as a pro here is the fact that when you're using the boss mode, which is the one that I use, you actually get to actually get more than content. You can do things like ads, you can do things like social media posts, you can do things like email swipes. So it's a lot when you're using the boss mode. And yes, now that I've talked about that, that's the second thing on my list. And the third thing that I must mention as a pro here is the fact that the content is most of the time very, very accurate. So I've been using Jasper for a while now. I can confidently tell you that most of the content that you're going to get there is very up to date, very accurate. I don't know how they did it, but the robot has a way to go through everything on the internet, find the most up to date information and actually use that information to create very good content for you. So that is pro number three on my list. And apart from this, pro number four is the fact that Jasper actually has a native support for Grammarly. So if you're someone that does a lot of work on the internet, you do a lot of writing on the internet, you should know what Grammarly is. It helps you make sure that everything you're doing is very, very correct when it comes to your grammar. So yeah. Jasper is automatically made to integrate with Grammarly and that is something very good. So now that I've talked about these four things, I'm going to go ahead and talk about one more pro. And that is the fact that the Jasper user interface is simple. It's easy to understand. You saw it when I was showing you guys on my computer screen. It was very easy to understand. Everything is laid out perfectly fine, like very, very easy to understand. And that is something that we must mention as a pro here because I've seen a lot of other AI writing softwares out there who have very, very complicated user interface that's going to get the average internet user very, very confused. So now that I've talked about these five things as things that I liked, which are the pros that come with using Jasper.ai, I'm not going to move on to talking about the cons, which are the bad sides, because everything that has good sides, obviously, is going to have its own bad side. So for the cons, the first thing that I must mention here is that if you're someone that is looking to creates content that is kind of technical or overly complicated, Jasper is not going to be the right thing for you because when Jasper tries to write this type of content, it most times gives you trashy content. I'm going to be totally honest with you here. If you're trying to write things that are very, very technical, very, very complicated, you should probably write them yourself or hire a real human being to write those things for you because these uh, things are robots. Jasper is a robot. It doesn't have a very, very sound brain like our brain. So when it comes to technical topics, complicated topics, you should probably find someone else to get the job done for you. And yes, now that I've talked about that, the second thing that I must mention as a con that comes to using Jasper is that sometimes, a few times, when you're done writing content, you're still going to have to look through the content by yourself. So you have to spend the time to proofread and all. And I strongly recommend you do that because sometimes it's going to make some very, very small mistakes that you can actually fix yourself. But if you don't want to do that yourself, you can actually pay someone to do it for you on sites like Fiverr. Yes, now that I talked about that, the third thing that I must mention as a con that comes with using Jasper is the fact that when you're using Jasper, you're going to have to check for plagiarism. And I don't think they have this feature inside their app. So most times you're going to have to use an external app for the plagiarism checks that you're going to run on your content to make sure that your content is very, very unique. And why I'm mentioning this as a con is because I feel like the guys from Jasper.ai should actually find a way to integrate a plagiarism checker into their software to actually help users like you and me check for plagiarism on each content that Jasper generates for us. And now that I've talked about that, the last but not the least is that it could be cheaper. Honestly, it could be cheaper because I know that people who own software companies, they don't spend a lot of money to maintain these softwares and I feel like it could be cheaper. What I've done on my own end is that I found a coupon link, which is why I told you guys that if you are done watching this video and you want to go and use Jasper, you should use a coupon link. So I'm going to leave the coupon link down below in the description. It's going to save you some money by actually getting you extra bonuses. So that's going to be the first link down below in the description. Yes, now that I've walked you guys through all these things that I consider things that I didn't really like while I was using Jasper, I'm not going to go ahead and round this video up by saying that I strongly, personally, from my own personal experience, recommend Jasper.ai because I use it for my blogs, I use it for ads, I use it for YouTube video scripts, I use it for freelance gigs and a lot of other things. So about what plan you should go for, I personally use the boss plan because that's like the best plan there. But if you're someone that's kind of short on cash, I'd recommend you start with the 
um, lower one and then when you start making money from whatever business you're using Jasper to do you can then upgrade to the boss plan but honestly the boss plan is like the best one so I'd recommend that one now that I've said all that to round everything up Jasper is good it has worked for me I know it has a couple of things that I complained about but those things are minor things it, it actually does a very very good job at actually creating content for you fast so I strongly recommend Jasper like I say don't forget to use a coupon link to save yourself some money if you finally decided that Jasper is what you want to go and use for yourself. And yes, now that I've said all that, don't forget to leave me a like here. If you have any questions about Jasper or anything you feel like they didn't cover or anything you feel like they didn't touch that you need answers about, you can ask me down below in the comments. I'm always going to be there to answer all your comments. And yes, now that I've said all that, I think I've covered everything that needs to be covered here. I think it's going to be a bye-bye from here. Stay safe out there and peace out.